Okay, so scrolling up and down the page, it looks like um, this is a website where I could read a bunch of articles. Um, I guess it's just like general genres, kind of what I'm getting from here. Um, but it looks like these are featured. Um, so it's like a little ad that's trying to get me to sign up. Um, I'm not really sure what for members is. That's not really clear to me. Um, and I'm curious if what the difference between features featured and popular on Medium are. Um, I assume, I guess I would assume that featured is stuff that Medium actually picks um, just for their entire reader base um, to feature. And then popular means that the most people were viewing it or commenting or liking that article. Um, featured for members still is unclear. I'm not sure why it's for members. Um, looks like there's a technology set, section. So there's a variety of sections. Um, I'm looking at the banner. I'm not really sure what one zero elemental gen Zora forge human parts. I, I have no idea what those words are. Um, so that's kind of weird. I feel like I'd rephrase that if that's um, cause I'm really unclear about that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, I'd say so this website looks like pretty trustworthy. I mean, I'd say there's some weird things. Like I think this ad that's here is like makes me feel slightly untrustworthy. Like it's also kind of it's not so often that you see like black font on white background. I mean, that seems kind of like Craigslist is, um, you know, they're like still, they never have redesigned their page. So it kind of looks like that. Um, and also um, this image is like overflowing to the left, which makes me think it's not very responsive. Um, I'm not, I'm just overall not a fan of like the one article here, three here, one here. Um, so that lineup looks a little weird, but I might say it, it's of medium trustworthiness to me. Um, but obviously I recognize the name medium. So I'd say like, I'd give it a three out of five on the trustworthy scale. Um, so if I wanted to review articles about UX, I'd probably look in the header here. Um, but again, like that, a, I don't, I can't really, I don't know what any of these terms mean up here and I don't see UX. So I definitely, search um so another thing is a when i click this um this search bar here i really didn't expect it to pop out to the left um i thought become a member was in the search bar so i'd prefer it to actually be expanded um and say search medium and maybe have like a little outline around it so that's confusing so if i search ux um just without even clicking enter it looks like there are people and then publications and tags which these tags actually are not doesn't look like they're in english so um yeah i'd, I'd want i'd expect it to filter by um where i am so if i enter at medium.com versus medium dot like de for germany i expect this to all be english tags um <clears throat> so i'm also i guess people are i mean these don't seem like people's names so like these look like kind of companies um, and then publications are easy to understand. So if I click enter, so I look, looks like I'm on the page where I search for UX, I could see stories, people, publications, and tags. Um, and then there's tags down here and then there's people and then publications. So I think that's interesting because, um, the order here is people, publication, tags, and then down the right side, it's tags, people, publication. Um, so I just wonder, like, I'd want it to be consistent. So put people first, put publication second, put tags third. Um, I prefer that. Um, so, yeah, I kind of alluded to this, but I'd want some consistency. So you're going to say people, publications, and tags. Keep it that order on the right-hand side. Um, and then I'd say... I mean, it looks cool. Like this image looks cool. It's like a little GIF. Um, that's great and everything. It's just, it's a little much when you're just staring at it for a while. Um, so I'd prefer maybe there's like a mode that I can go into that, you know, makes it just, um, just makes it static pictures. Um, and I mean, I, I really like, 
how um, it tells me how long, like uh, 15 minute read. I think that's really popular now. I mean, just, you know, going into an article with the expectation of that. Um, I wonder why it almost looks like this person has like a story, you know, um, like kind of like Instagram stories, the way that they're highlighted around their face, but other people aren't. Um, so I think just design wise, that's um, a little weird. And the image takes up a lot of space. Um, so I feel like it's, yeah, there's just a lot of images. Um, but overall, I think, um, you know, obviously that's a little nitpicky, but um, I think the search, obviously it returned exactly what I want. Um, and then I, could, I guess I could follow people here. So I could read articles, follow people, publications, and kind of filter down by tags, um, which I assume tags are what the articles um, have specified. I'd want it to be, um, so I don't really love that experience of clicking on a tag and then it opening up to the right. Um, it actually seems like the exact opposite of what just happened, um, where I was viewing these articles on the left and then the tags were on the right. So I would, I'd kind of just want, if I clicked tags, maybe um, just to have stuff kind of be left aligned as opposed to right aligned, like it was just happening. Um, so if I'm about to go to a meeting, um, so if I want to read a six minute article, um, so I would look at this, it's a little small, like the date, the name, what publication it's in, and that, I think it, I mean, it would probably be better to have it slightly bigger. It looks like the claps here and the responses, that text is even bigger, um, which I, I'd rather see the date and the time bigger. Um, it seems like that's the smallest font in this box. Um, but, so this one's five minutes. Um, so that's pretty easy to spot. Um, I'd say that task was, I'll give it a four because um, just because the font was really small, it was um, it was a little difficult to um, spot it when, you know, like for example, the reason that I think it's really important to have the font and the date big is because like, for example, this, like I'd rather see the date because this looks like an outdated publication. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't probably want to read something from 2015 with, you know, the industry changing as much as it is. Um, okay, so let me click on this. So if I started reading this and my boss came to my desk, um, so I want to bookmark this, which, um, so I'd expect the bookmark to be right under this image probably, or in this area. So I guess it's not, um, this image was really large. Um, I don't know if it's just cause there's a ton of books and you know, whatever, but, um, yeah, it's kind of big, but, um, yeah, I'd expect it to be the bookmarks and the little icons to be up here. Um, but let me scroll down to the bottom. Oh, oh so I guess it, it actually just appears when you scroll, um, which is okay. I mean, I'd rather it just, you know, be stuck on this left side. And then when I scroll, it scrolls with me. Um, but it seems like it disappears towards the top, which, um, so if I want to bookmark this, so I'll click bookmark. Um, okay, so that makes sense. So I'm going to create an account. Um, okay, let me just bookmark this. Okay, so I created an account and it's bookmarked. So this task is saying to find um, the actual article in my bookmark. So, so if I were on the Medium homepage and I were looking, I would click that icon with my initial on it. Um, and I'd probably see bookmarks, so I'll do that now. Yeah, and it looks like, uh, yep, exactly what I thought. Bookmarks, um, I expect it to be a little higher because I don't think, I mean, I'm assuming that more people are probably looking for bookmark articles than people who are in the Medium Partner Program, which seems like it's like a guest blogger. Um, so I click bookmarks here. Um, and then here, I found it right here. Um, I'd say I'll give it a four again because, um, it was intuitive to look in the settings, but 
it wasn't um, – I would expect the bookmark tab to be a little bit higher. It seemed like the medium partner program was kind of being advertised a little bit more than it would be to just the average reader. So give that a four. Um, so if I wanted to share again, I'd probably just expect the articles to be kind of a, uh, the social icons to be a title. Um, but let me scroll to the bottom. Um, well, it's interesting because I would imagine that, you know, they list out, the, it, since these are icons here where I can, um, seems like, like this article, follow and bookmark, I'd expect there to be social icons here too. But I check near the bottom and I can click Twitter right here. Um, I would say, I mean, it's pretty hidden. I'll, again, I'll give it a four. Um, it's not, didn't totally meet my expectation of where this bird icon would be. This is kind of the third space that I would um, expect it to be. Um, the first is up by the title. Um, the second is in this left-hand panel and um, the third would be down here. But uh, nonetheless, I did find it pretty quickly because I scroll quickly 